Hi guys, today we have the Peugeot 208 and I will be taking this for a point of view test drive in Hampstead Garden suburb in northwest London on a super wide uh, angle. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I upload videos weekly of test drives and reviews of anything that moves on wheels and hit that bell icon so that you get notified of next time I upload a video. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe and enjoy. Today it's a beautiful day in London. And if you don't know, Hampstead Garden suburb is one of the most beautiful areas in London and in the world. Enjoy and have a great day. I'll tell you a couple of facts about Hampstead Garden suburb. Every house has to have a hedge in its front garden. And another thing every house has to have is square windows. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but every house you'll see has square windows. I know that, oops, let's go down here. I know this because I lived here for a few years. It's a beautiful neighborhood. One of the nicest neighborhoods in the country.
This street, Ingram Avenue, must be one of my favorite streets of the whole Hampstead Garden suburb. You got nice big houses, it's a quiet street. But they're not too too big, you know, only about 20, 30 million pound a house here. It's not so bad, right? What do you think? Put in the comments below what you think of this street. I mean, my favorite house I think is on this, this one here on the corner. Let's see if you can see it on the camera. I just love the house, love it. Beautiful house. Anyway, let's continue the drive. It's also another nice house here. Check out that one, that's huge. But if you want to see some real big ones, <laughs> that's what she said. Let's, let's head over to the Bishop's Avenue, uh, which is, it used to be, when I was growing up, the Bishop's Avenue was called Millionaire's Row. But today it's been slightly updated to Billionaire's Row. To live on that street, you really have to be a billionaire. It's a bit of a shame what's going on there. You'll see in a minute, a lot of houses they have converted into apartments. There's also a lot of houses that are em sadly empty, which is a big shame. Big shame. But as a child, I always dreamt of one day owning a home on the Bishop's Avenue. To the right we have Kenwood, beautiful, beautiful scenery place, such a romantic place, uh, it's stunning, I'll, maybe one day I'll show you. Right, this is the Bishop's Avenue and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull over, pause the video and restart it. Right, this is the Bishop's Avenue, um, this is a street I was telling you about earlier where you have these huge, huge mansions, probably the biggest in London. I don't think in Greater London, not outside, not Hertfordshire and Elstree and places like that. Talking about London with a London postcode, I think these must be the biggest houses. This used to be a huge mansion. They changed it into apartments. This house over here is derelict, so sad completely empty but there are still a few standing a few beautiful big houses here here's another one that's completely derelict they've actually knocked it down over here they're building apartments brand new apartments this was another mansion it's a bit difficult to see from the camera but if you're in London, make sure to drive down the Bishop's Avenue and just take in the beauty of some of these houses. And check out this one on the right. I'm not sure if you can see it on my camera. Stunning house, stunning, beautiful, huge, big. Here's another one. This one seems to be empty. They have dog security there. Try and get hold of the owner. If you can get hold of the owner and try and buy them. Here's another empty house. So much security here, so much security. You'd think we're in some kind of African country, like Johannesburg, where the gun crime is so much in carjacking. We're in central London. Bishop's Avenue does actually continue down there, but I'm gonna make a left here. 